Welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm going to be setting up SSH or a, a secure shell on a Linux machine. And then I'm going to be leaving everything as a default settings. I want to demonstrate in this video is that when I do a Wireshark on that connection being established at the very end, we can see that we are unable to uh, observe the, the username and password that was input. All right, let's dig in. All right, so SSH is now installed on Ubuntu. We've got an SSH server running. And what I've got on the screen now is a wire capture where I'm connecting from my Kali machine, this one right here, and connecting over to the SSH server on the Ubuntu machine. And I've grabbed the entire exchange. There's a few things that I want to point out that you should take note of. And if let's go all the way to the top, we can see that our connection is started. SYN, SYNAC, and ACK, the three-way handshake. Perfect. And then we go about uh, collecting some information and getting ready for that, that encrypted exchange. And even as we go through it, we can see the client exchange. We can see the Diffie-Hellman over here. And as we keep going down, we can see that an encrypted packet, an encrypted packet, an encrypted packet, an encrypted packet. That's awesome. Okay. And this is just on the default settings. So that's we're not done yet. Okay. This video, we just set it up and we wanted to see what it looks like in Wireshark. Okay. But we need to do some more configurations to make it even more secure. Let's look at one more thing. I'm gonna expand the bytes window here, and I'd like to actually cycle through all of the packets, and let's take a quick look at the bytes and what they're showing us. And I'm gonna cycle through it really fast, and what I want to see, does any, does the username show up or the password? And as we cycle through it, we're, we are not gonna see the username and password in here because it is encrypted. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, please go ahead and like and subscribe. That would be great. And we'll talk to you soon.